I see you all as my brethren and sistren, and I want you all to to seek to live as non-sinners. I think that's the biggest thing. Have perspective understanding, doctrine perspective. Have the perspective of of doctrine because then you could you could change your diet, know what is healthy for you naturally, and do what you know is naturally best. Now you can launch your own business, you can try entrepreneurship, and you can focus on the destination of your life. But I'm telling you now, for me, it's just been stuck for over a year of my property I've been stuck. For many years before then, before I got my property, I was just stuck. I was always just stuck. No matter what I did, I was just stuck. And But I developed over time, and I to get to where I am mentally, I had to overcome my anger battles. I had a lot of anger issues and I had to learn to have self-control. My anger issues was not just because I went through a lot, but also because I felt like the world was forsaken. I felt like the heavens was not being the heavens that I wanted. The one thing that I always thought was the perfect place. Well, I did not always think that was the perfect place. I mean, you know, I knew that they had flaws. But that's the thing. But for for a moment, I just I felt like if I was searching for that perfect place all of my life, heaven would be that place. And then, you know, I come to find out out of personal experience that that's not the perfect place that I wanted. And they have flaws and and they did things. And and, and there's things about what I know that I'm not going to say out loud. But there was things that I personally experienced that was beyond what, you know, when you go through severe situations, some things happen well. I'll, I'll just tell you now, like, it was not what I, you know, imagined. So I was angry that the heavens was not, you know, doing a lot about what needed to be done in this world. And especially in certain severe cases and things that had happened to me when I would, you know, reach out to the heavens, they would not reach back to me. So I was angry and I had lots of anger over that and I would yell at the heavens and I would get angry at the heavens. Although I was committed to the heavens, I would yell at them and I would get angry at them because I did what the heavens wanted me to do and I lived homeless for a long time, half a year, almost half a year, homeless in 20 degree weather. Okay, it was seriously cold, no way of heating. And I was out there in the woods, you know, with just a tent and a few other things. And it was just not enough to sustain me. And I would yell at the heavens and get angry at them. And so my commitment was not always happy, you all. My commitment at one point was angry. And I made a commitment to the heavens, the place that I seeked for a long time. And I continued to seek in many ways. But, you know, you all think that as soon as I was committed, I was just happy and I just had it. No. No, I had anger for a very long time. Mm -hmm. I had to learn to overcome the anger. I had to learn to have self-control. I learned to have the perspective of doctrine perspective. I learned about the anatomy. And that helped me to have self-awareness as well. That helped me to to be aware of myself and my surroundings. It made me feel better about life, learning about robotics and and AI and and the new like software that they have and the and the um uh, the updates that they're doing online these days has given tons of opportunities. And so, although I did not have educational opportunities, I got to study on the metaverse. And that has been such a blessing. Like the metaverse has really changed my life in so many ways. And so not having education, just having Al train of the telephone and access to internet really, really, really has educated me in ways that I was, I did not have the opportunity. And so I'm thankful for that.